Hi guys and welcome back. I'm JT at DelicateBeats.com. If you're like me, drums are just like crack to a fiend. You never have enough, you're always looking for more. Well today I might just have something for your cravings. It's called the Illmind Black Kit Gold Box and I'm gonna show you how you can build uh, beats from scratch using only this one library. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. So the goal of my demonstration today is to show you that you can um, put together awesome sounding beats using only the sounds that come from Illmind's Blab Kit Gold Box. Here's the beat that I made. Okay, now let's go uh, through each individual sounds and I'm going to tell you what I did, uh, what sound kit it comes from and um, give you an idea of um, what you can do with this gold box. So with any drum, uh, actually hip hop beat, you're going to need some grit. And if you're familiar with Illmind's production, he uh, often layers uh, behind his beats either, you know, tape recorder, noise, or uh, vinyl crackles such as this one. So the effect is subtle, but uh, it's been used uh, throughout the 90s and the 2000s. Um, just, you know, so the beat sounds more... Um, you know, vintage and uh, like a sample that comes from a, an old 70s record. Uh, you can find a bunch of these in the bonus material section, um, which is a super cool sound kit because uh, Illmine was uh, kind enough to also provide us with screenshots of his Pro Tool sessions so you can see how he arranges and puts together his beats. Um, there, there's a lot of sound effects and even some bonus drum kits. So, very good uh, sound kit there. Um, because this uh, beat is more towards the trap genre, I used uh, exclusively sounds that come from the kits in the Boom Trap uh, volumes one and two. So, for example, I sampled this. Um, 808 hi-hat in my uh, sampler contact and I played it an octave lower you know just to uh, switch it up a bit with your usual 808 uh, hi-hat lines this one comes from the March kit don't know if it's the boom trap volume one or two but uh, you'll easily find it if you have one of the the boom trap uh, libraries and then um, here's the drum beat. And you can see the name of the kits here if you want to find the exact same sounds. Next up, I uh, loaded up a, a sub or an 808 into my uh, contact sampler. The reason is that I wanted to be able to play the root notes of each of the piano chords that I sampled here. So here's the drum beat with the 808 and you'll notice how good, you know, the kick and the 808 lock in together. It's awesome. Now let's go to the backbone of the beat, which is um, some piano chords that I uh, got from the Grand's session here, which is an all piano uh, library. And what you get basically is uh, piano compositions that are broken down into uh, individual stems. So I took one of the stems and uh, chopped it up, rearranged it uh, like this.
And as you can see, I fairly uh, mixed, I heavily mixed actually the, uh, the piano uh, sound. Um, originally, it sounds like this. <laughs> So it sounds really nice and warm, but in this case, I wanted to have uh, you know this uh, synth rock from the '80s type of sound. So I took out mo most of the bass and I exaggerated heavily on the high end, high end, sorry, and um, used some reverb, uh, my infamous sample delay to make the uh, the sound sound wider because I believe the those sounds are sampled in mono. And here's again what it sounds like. Okay. Now let's go over some of the synth sounds that I got from the uh, Cocaine Synths Volumes 1 and 2. First, I wanted to have just a, an, um, a background drone-ish sound um, that I chopped up... Um, following the uh, the rhythm of the piano and this stem two I um, can't remember from which of the volumes it comes from but it should be very uh, easy to find So you can see that with only one chord and a little uh, chopping, you can uh, create some super cool background effects. Next, I wanted to have one of those um, arpeggiated sounds that uh, movies such as Scarface uh, got us familiar with. And what I did was to take one big stem from one of the cocaine synths again. And as you can see, the stem is fairly uh, long. I think it lasts like a minute and a half. But I really just took this one little note here. And what I did was uh, play this line. And with a little... Uh, plug and chain here with guitar rig, some delay and reverb, uh, I came up with this cool sounding synth. Sounds much more vintage and uh, 80s like or even 70s like. And so with the piano and the, uh, the other uh, pad sound, and with the drums, So now that I have the backbone of my beat, um, I needed some embellishments. So I got this uh, grunt from one of the uh, boom trap uh, kits. But uh, by the way, um, even though there are grunts in uh, many of uh, Illmind's uh, sound kits, there's also this all grunts everything pack that comes uh, with the gold box. And uh, it's just filled with those dubbish. Uh, distorted vocals that are super useful to, uh, you know, uh, put on the one of each of the loops and create transitions and, and stuff like that. So here's the beat with that. You know, it just creates this hype that uh, we got used to on uh, uh, the old mixtapes uh, with DJs such as Casely and, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah all of these uh, good uh, New York DJs, whatever. So um, let's keep going with the, uh, I, I got also these sweeps from uh, the, I'm not going to name the um, the library because I, I don't want my video to be taken off of uh, YouTube. But uh, yeah, this is one of the um, uh, boom trap kits. <laughs> So yeah, you get the this rising s sweep and then yeah, kind of a boomer with uh, some white noise. And um, 
With all of this you get this beat. <laughs> So this was made exclusively using sounds from the, the gold box by Illmind. Um, in this case I cheated a bit, I wanted to have even more hype during my chorus pattern, so I added a synth and some strings, and here's the final product. <laughs> So there you have it. Um, I bought this gold box, uh, you know, a month ago, and um, I really felt the urge to let all of my fellow producers, uh, especially hip hop producers, that uh, for a hundred and twenty-five dollars, this um, collection of sound kits is just insane value for the money. So go get it now, um, make some heat, and um, as you can see. There is so much in here. I mean, guitar licks, uh, piano uh, loops, strings, uh, a lot of super good sounding uh, boom bap drums. Uh, you've got the uh, the trap drums, the 808s, um, synths that are super vintage because even though, you know, VSTs are cool, I mean, when you're working on hip-hop beats, you want the grit and you want um, the vintageness. So these synths here uh, and the red crayon killer samples also really bring, you know, the analog sound uh, that you need to get, create, um, you know, authentic sounding hip-hop beats. So thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to watch the other videos, you know, um, the Dr. Dre snares, Dr. Dre pianos for some mixing tips. Subscribe to the channel because there's always some uh, great stuff coming your way. And uh, again, uh, thank you for watching.